I'm Sharon from I Restore Stuff and in this video I'm going to show you how I transformed this antique sideboard. It's a beautiful old piece but the owner wanted a fresh new look with a vintage vibe. The top had stains and watermarks and the look she wanted was a darker wood top with the rest of the piece painted. So the first thing I did was sanded the whole top back to bare timber. We had to fiddle with the lock a bit to get it working again as both of the locks had jammed in the doors pretty badly. As you can see the surface was fairly glossy and since I wanted to use Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint I began by roughing the surface lightly with a sander to create greater adhesion of the milk paint. I stained the top with a walnut stain and then finished it with a um, Minwax which is a wipe on poly varnish. Now I was ready to paint the lower section and the owner had chosen Miss Mustard Seeds kitchen scale colour. You can mix Miss Mustard Seeds milk powder to a ratio of one part paint to one and a half parts water in a mason jar and shake it vigorously. You can also use a whisk or a beater to blend it really really well. Now because I wanted more control over the chipping on this piece because milk paint can be quite random I also added Miss Mustard Seeds bonding agent to make sure that the paint would really stick well. There it is after one coat. And that's it after two coats. Then I sanded all of the edges and the natural wearing parts with a fine grit sandpaper. You can use a 180 or something finer. Now furniture oils. On the insides of the drawers and the cupboards I wanted to keep the wood really natural looking so to enhance it and restore the timber I rubbed in a Scandinavian furniture oil. You could also use Miss Mustard Seeds hemp oil which she has available. To clean the hardware, I scrubbed with a pasty solution of baking soda and white vinegar. Now waxing is an important part of finishing your furniture and for this piece I used Miss Mustard Seeds Furniture Wax and on these drawers that you can see I've waxed the one on the right just to compare the difference. Um, but you can see the wax enriches and deepens the natural milk paint colours. So you just apply that with a lint free cloth and buff it till it's smooth. It also adds a layer of protection just to keep the paint from chipping. And ta-da, there we are, finished sideboard. The owner was so happy with the finished result, so I was really glad about that. It was a beautiful piece. I just wanted to show you these cute canning labels because they are replicated from labels that we found in my family belonging to my great-great-grandfather who ran a cannery right here in Brisbane. Queensland and they're available on my Etsy store. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love you to subscribe to my channel or join me on Facebook, Pinterest or my blog. 